Trainy, are you? Butter. Yeah. Butter, butter. <laughs> We're good to go. Man. I don't want you to No, no. Something's wrong. What do you mean something's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Ran when it came in here. <laughs> guys so in today's video we will be working on the new daily which is here behind me so I put a little sneak of it on Instagram and Facebook but uh so I got this car I'm trying to think back to it it was about two years ago got this thing and I found it in somebody's driveway and I knocked on the door and they were nice enough to give it to me the front end was hit pretty bad the motor uh, it ran but it had a knock um, but yeah, so I, I, put, I put in a bunch of pictures and little clips I have from back then of us first getting the car and getting it right. And then I didn't drive it. I don't, I don't think I needed it, whatever the case was. I sold it to Obi Speedy Tuning, and then he was going to do something with it. I don't even remember. And then he sold it. Sold it. Like it was coming back to me, I think. And I sold it to my brother-in-law. And he just recently got a new car. So here we are, and he got a new one, and I got this one back. It's awesome. So I drove the last couple days, and there are some things that need to be addressed ASAP. It's uh, pretty rough. Can you give me a hand here, Jess, and show the people what we got here? So this is uh, not supposed to have that. As you can see, there's nothing left up there. It's pretty bad. So that's like... The worst that's like the first thing we gotta you know get right so we got tie rod ends and ball joints and wheel bearings and uppers and all kind of stuff to throw on this thing the exhaust has to get welded that's also uh that's not right <laughs> look at that deal she's a beaut so yeah we're gonna get this thing you know somewhat drivable for now and then eventually i have fenders at home so i'll get a fender on it because this one is kinked quite a bit and then Eventually, we're going to do the quarters, right? Yeah, eventually. That's the plan. Get these quarters fixed and get this thing painted. That'd be nice. But yeah, we're going to dive right into it, show you guys, and let's enjoy it. This is Jesse's uh, favorite place to do things. No, it ain't. This giant press that you could smash anything you want. I don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got wheel bearing on the ball joint because they were destroyed. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we had to torch the bottom ball joint off. It looked like somebody lost a wheel or something and drove around on the ball joint for a while. It was like melted down to a mushroom cap. So we torched that off. What, you want to grab it for me? I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't know either. Good. Keep going. Oh, it's not over? No, it didn't come out, did it? I thought it did. No. Oh, that's what happened. Look at that. Yeah. Good. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, but I looked at what you're looking at and we'll let everything fall. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get it out now, you gotta get the snap ring out. There you go. Time for a new one. This was a very loud unit. As you're going down the road, it was like whoosh, so bad. Okay. So, crack out our new one here. Give me a second. 
the silly boxes up pretty good. Bam, daddy-o. Nice new dad. It's not too straight, but it'll work. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> See this two-piece right here? It just pushes one side out, and you're gonna push it in. Well, whatever. I guess we'll figure it out. That's right. You want to grab that piece and see if you want to put it back in? It is right here. All right, guys, so we got a little carried away. We had some issues with the press and finally got it all back together. But while getting the bearing in there, these cheap door lance bearings, it fell apart. So we just kind of put it back together. We put the couple, you know, ball bearings back in there and then put the seal back on. But it sounds like it's like it just came from the beach. It sounds awfully sandy in there. So we're going to try to pack it with grease and see if it gets a quieter. But, who knows? So, let's see what we got. Got a little dirt. Ooh. So we're gonna try to get some fresh grease in there. We're gonna pack it with the good shit. I can see debris. Do you wanna spray clean it out? <clears throat> Look at the can of brake clean. Maybe we shouldn't put brake clean in there. Right. Because it's going to clean out the other side that we can't get to. Right. for the axle. Good, right? I mean, we're gonna try it. See, it sounds like on the car. All right, guys, so we just got this out here. Just wanted to show you guys. So, that is, uh, that's what you call bad. You know, it's supposed to have a little bit of rubber in there. And uh, this one, this one is still worn, but it's uh, at least existent. That's gone. And this thing ain't much better. So that's no good. I think these are skunk twos. Either way. So here's our new tie rod, right? And our outer deal. And it doesn't move. You can't move them. That's not how it works, right? This one, the outer is still pretty good. But this deal, look at this. Oh no. She was no good. So there you go. New daddy. Get that put on there. And we got some uh, uppers from Joe's Junkyard back at the house. These are in pretty good shape, though. These are brand new. Ain't bad. I don't know what car they came off of, but don't matter. Nice. Whoa. It's fine. Whoa. This one's good. Damn. Yeah, it's good. All right. We're going to get back to putting this stuff together here. Sorry we're not showing anything, but it's like last minute. It's hard. It's getting late, so we're just trying to knock this stuff out. But yeah, hopefully this thing dries a whole lot nicer when we're done because the wheels are gonna fall off. 
Risky. So, yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> we really met in there too. Ah, oh, you ass. <laughs> You're retarded. So, people, what we want to show you is. <clears throat> what bed looks like. So first off, I'm pretty sure this one's bent. Right? Being in an accident, I think. No? A little bit, maybe? No, I think you're just holding crooked. Who knows? Either way. No point. way, dude. Look at that. That's money. Look at the bottom. Like right here? All right. I got that lined up perfectly with the top. I see it. It's bent. Yeah. I know it's bent, because the day you bent it, I knew. But anyway, the point is, that's not even a bad part. So it was bent, for one. And then, look at the deal. Like, I, could, I can't even move that, all right? It doesn't move. That is shot. Beyond shot. I'm telling you, the wheels were going to fall off this thing and turn different ways. This thing, now I can't even get an accurate reading because it's bent. So we're just going to guess and then we're going to make the wheel straight. How's that? Good enough. Right? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Close. So yeah, we're just going to make the wheel straight, send it. Um, see? Show you guys a little something. So this side is done. We have our new ball joint with a cotter pin. We have new inner and outer tie rod with half a boot because it was ripped. We got new uppers are on there now. I know you probably can't see because it's a little dark, but everything's together. Jesse got the ball joint done on this side, and it's amazing. And the upper's in. So now I'm just gonna finish up the inner tie rod, and we're gonna see how this thing rolls. So, back to you guys in a bit. Well, guys, that was a it was a tough one, but the uh, exhaust is all back to normal, which is nice. Got that uh, taken off, welded up, and all set. The front end is good and we eyeball aligned it for the time being and they're pretty straight i'm um, satisfied jess has got a pretty good eye and uh the wheel's straight luckily so hopefully it stays that way we're in good shape but uh we had some cord showing on most of the tires so i'm gonna get some new ones on the way for now i got uh, an extra set of junkers over here jesse had laying around so he'll get me home and I got more, you know, EG Steelies at home, like that style. So, yeah, I mean, not much to see, but just wanted to get sun out for you guys. So, I'm sure we'll be back to it soon. And uh, that'll be it for this one, guys. So, thanks for watching. And 